Good Tuesday morning. I'm Father Stephen Simbridge Hermitage, and this is Moments with the Master. Today is the first day of March 2022, and our readings today come from the book of 1 Peter, chapter 1, verses 10 through 16, Psalms 98, verses 1 through 4, and the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 10, verses 28 through 31. Folks, I haven't been on uh, the YouTubes for the month of February, so I hope that you all kept up with your readings without me prodding and poking at you. Uh, the only way to stay on top of your your game and is to, is to continue straight through, and I hope you have. We're, remember, we're coming up to Lent really, qu- really quickly here, so uh, I hope that you got those relented reflections. Uh, if not, there's, there's some on, online, and I just think that they'll be a great blessing to you. Well, today, today I'm going to talk about people uh, using their gifts, and I'm not talking about your your money. So you keep your keep your hands out of your pockets. What I'm talking about is your time and your talents. You know, people who he gives their gifts and their strengths to help other people are are of service to them. They're of service to to not only the church but also their service to society and you know and everyone's different everyone has different time constraints everybody has different talents so the level of service is gonna is gonna uh, be different for everyone you know it doesn't mean that you can't be involved in helping others and that's what God wants us to do God wants us to be of service to, to everyone, not just the people in the church, not just your circle of friends, not just your family, but God wants us to be the light of the world. He wants us to to reflect his His attributes. And the best way of doing that is to be uh, someone who's, who's giving. Um, I, I'm greatly blessed to know a number of people who are giving people. And... Um, I think that they help society in, in, in general. You know, I know that some of these people would say, well, you know, we're not church people, Steve. We don't go to church every day or every Sunday. And we're... But I look at their lives and I, and I see that their lives reflect the teaching of, of Scripture. You know, whether that's the, the plumber who, you know, might add uh, a little extra to, somebody's repairs and uh, or maybe not charge them as much uh, that mechanic who goes out of his way and you know might 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 add a little bit to the repair might change a couple hoses some wires something and not charge somebody that that's in need you know that's the spirit that god is, is calling us to give you know it might be that that person who just bakes a little extra, cooks a little extra, and gives it to the widow or the widower or, or, or the, the single guy who's who, who doesn't get their home cooked meal. These people are really reflecting the light of Christ, and they, I know they would probably not 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 see it in themselves, but I see it through them, and I think that every one of us has that opportunity to to show the light of Christ and, and just everyday actions. Um, we read in 1 Peter uh, 4, 10 through 11, as each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's varied grace. Whoever speaks as one who speaks oracles of God, whoever serves as one who serves by the strength that God supplies, in order that in everything God may be glorified through Jesus Christ. To him belongs the glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. The grace. We we reflect God's grace. I always tell you, for those things that God has done for us, we should do for others. He's been gracious. He's been merciful. He's been loving. He's been kind. We need to 
be giving and merciful and kind to others. Um, and remember, we're doing this because because we love God and we want to do it. You know, we don't expect to, to get any money or praise or recognition out of, of what the things we do. And we just keep doing the right thing because it's the thing we should do. You know, again, being of service to something, to someone, to our community as a whole, um, and not just, again, not just our circle of friends, not just our church family, our, our faith communities. We want the world to see Christ through our actions. So, folks, that's where I'm going with this today. Um, now, I'll have to ask you, does your Christian walk reflect uh, that giving attitude? Uh, do you freely give with your time and talents? Again, I'm not talking about your money. I'm talking about you because it's easy to give money for the most part. I know some people give out of their out of their little that they have, and that's that's a great blessing too. So I don't want to take anything away from that. What I'm talking about is much sometimes much harder our time. You know, most people. You know, they they work all day. They got to uh, fight traffic to get home, and and they don't feel that they have ample time to give. You know, but sometimes we do. Sometimes when you get home, and you know, somebody calls you, and hey, I have problems with my faucet, or can you help me with jump smart my car? You know, what is it? What is our attitude? What is our what is our our words, our actions say about us. These are the things I'm talking about. You know, we should want to help people because God helps us. Um, and if you're not giving and you're, you're just being a Grinch and you're just being obstinate, maybe now's the time to, as we look, as we go into talent, you know, help God to, to soften your heart, give you a little a little kinder attitude. Um, Galatians 5, 13 and 14 read, For you were called to freedom, brothers. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another, for that the whole law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. That's where I'm going again with this. Our neighbors. Be loving. Be kind to everyone. You know, try to be helpful. Um, we're, called to be, we're called to be the light. That means reflecting our Lord's love for one another. We best show that light by our service to others. Again, to be loving, to be kind, caring, and compassionate. Um, we're told the greatest among you shall be the servant. So that's going to be even when it's hard and it's inconvenient, it's cold, it's dark. Um, it's not our particular a person in our circle of friends. Um, and I know it's not easy. It's not easy at all to be the person that people rely on. But look at it this way. You should take a little bit of joy and, and um, maybe pride, happiness that you're that you're that light that people see, you know, in their dark times when they need somebody most. They call you, you know. That's say something about you. Uh, and the amazing the amazing thing about being a service to others is the positive attributes you get from that. You know, not maybe not the praise, but the blessings you get from the Lord. Because if you're doing this. For the right reason, and I emphasize the right reason, for that, and I mean the glory of God, then God's going to see that. God's going to see you getting at that chair, you know, on a cold winter night and going to jump and start a car because you're just going to do the right thing. You're going to get blessed. God will never leave you hanging. God will always bless you more than you can, than you can imagine. 
when you're following his, his precepts. Um, your kindness will make the difference in, in somebody's life. Um, you never know how badly people are suffering. And that, that little bit of kindness, that random act of kindness I, also, I often speak about, could be the, a huge, huge difference in somebody's life. Um, so, you know, we read in, in Matthew 5, 16, in the same way, let your light shine before others so they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. And this is where I'm going with, uh, I'm going, I'm going with this in my last point. Um, it's going to be about your intentions. It's going to be about your motives. What's, what's driving you to do the right thing? Um, just like preaching, teaching, helping, motive makes a huge difference. If your motive is to give the greater glory to God, to reflect the light of Christ, you're on the right track. If your motive is, is a self, uh, about self, it's about the ego, it's about receiving praise, you know, you know, the pat on the back, you're doing it for the wrong reason. You're off track. Motive means everything. You know, remember we read in, in Matthew 6, 2. So when you give to the poor, do not sound the trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets. So they receive praise by people. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward in full. You know, folks, do the right thing for the glory of God. Plain and simple. God will see, and he's, God's going to reward you. Yeah. How he's going to reward you will, will, will vary greatly and different with each one of us. Um, take a moment today. Take a moment to think about how you can be of service to someone. How you can be service to the greater glory of God. God will richly bless you. Um, and I think that you're going to get just a huge amount of, of personal satisfaction and joy in being that person. Well, those are my reflections for today. I hope they were helpful. Hope you enjoyed them. Pray for me as I pray for you. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord hold you in the palm of his hand until we meet again.